Hey guys, Amanda here with Provost Park Pass. If you're new to our channel, click the subscribe button because we have so many Disney videos. Yeah, because of my bike. <laughs> <laughs> and because of his bark. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to draw my favorite Disney character, Goofy. Three things that you need. You need something to draw with, something to draw on, and an imagination. One thing you don't need is an eraser. You don't need an eraser. What I like to do is I like to draw lightly when I'm first drawing, and then I go darker over the lines and circles and edges that I like the best that I want to keep. All right, let's do this. Okay, let's get started. Now, I'm drawing Goofy Goof because he is my favorite character. He's my all-time favorite character out of all the Disney characters. And I'm wearing his sweater. I've got Goofy's sweater. I've got my Powerline shirt on. Mm. I'm ready. I'm so ready. And Goofy's part of the Fab Five, so we're good to start with him. Now, first things first is get your pencil, your chalk, your writing station, and let's do this. I've got a dog and my baby out here with us. This is a great activity to do with your family. Gotcha. start out with two long ovals that are standing right next to each other. These are going to be Goofy's eyes. Give a little bit of a gap between them. You got your two long ovals and then at the top of your ovals you're going to do a circle. And you're eventually going to fill in your eyes. I'm not gonna fill in my eyes yet because an animator taught me that the minute you fill in your eyes, that's when, you're, um, that's when your drawing comes to life. So I'm not gonna fill it in yet. That's gonna be the last. Now, Goofy has a little bit of a muzzle and Goofy's a very controversial character. Some people say he's a dog. Some people say that he's a cow, but whatever he is, he does have a little bit of like a snout. So you're gonna do a curved line connecting your eyes and then another curved line just a smaller one smaller one right underneath that and that's going to give it that 3d effect for the nose and then under those two curved lines you have the bigger one and the smaller one is you've got <laughs> a big oval underneath it and that big oval is going to be goofy's nose so i'm going to draw out his oval nose that's kind of laying on its side Cute little, uh, cute little oval nose. Okay, and then I'm gonna do a little bit, a little circle in the middle just to give it that shine, the shine to his nose. Okay, now after his nose, you're gonna draw his cheeks. I love Goofy's cheeks. It's one of my favorite things about him is they're just so like billowy and puffy and you just want to squeeze them. You just want to pinch those cheeks. So to draw his cheeks is you start out at the edge of his nose. Now not, don't connect it to that line. Start out to the side and do a big pillowy cheek out and around. Then come on the other side and mirror it. So start here, do a big pillowy cheek out and around. And they overlap a little bit. So you're going to give just a little bit of overlap to it. Okay, looking good. Now go up to your one of your pillowy cheeks, do a little hook, and then an upside down U. I guess it's not quite a U, it's more like a C. Just a little hook right there. And then come to the other side and do the same thing. Just a little hook. Like that. Okay, now you're gonna connect his cheeks. So this line that we did for his little nose, you're gonna bring it up and around and connect it to that cheek. And this one, same thing, up and around and connect it to that cheek. Like that, hey, where's her ball? Oh, right here? Okay. You want me to put it in there? Yeah, it's gonna throw it for her, can I throw it? All right, there you go. Okay. Yeah, go grab it. You can put it in. Okay, so from here, we've got to put his head on. His eyes are just floating out in space. He needs his head. So to do his head is come down to this 
top cheek that we just drew. And you're gonna start from the middle in between his eyes and do a curved arch up and around to that top cheek. And then this one, the same thing, up and around to that top cheek. And you're gonna do the same thing again, just above it. So a little widow's peak, arch up and around, connect to that top cheek, and then up and around, connect to that top cheek. Okay, his face is coming along. I love, love, love Goofy's teeth. I think they're amazing. If you watch a Goofy movie, it's one of my favorite movies, and Max has a nightmare about getting those like big teeth. They're awesome. So a little tip about teeth is when you do characters that aren't villains, you don't wanna make their teeth super sharp or, or spiky or pointy. You wanna have a tiny bit of a curve to them. So on his teeth, I'm gonna do two little lines. Two little lines. Okay, wait for that. And then <laughs> this is really fun. And then you're gonna kind of, you're not gonna curve it. It's not like a U, but I'm gonna curve the edges ever so slightly to connect them. So they're not, they're not pointy. They have a little bit of a curve. They're more of a cartoon too. And then do the same thing for this one. Two little lines. Lightly curved. All right. There's his cute little teeth. Now we're gonna do Goofy's muzzle, or not muzzle, Goofy's mouth. Goofy's mouth is so iconic. It's what gives him that like, hey, yeah, hey, yeah. or it's like, gosh. Like he has a huge, just awesome, 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 awesome mouth. So let's do his big mouth. You're gonna start at a tooth and just kind of do a curve down. And then start at the edge of the other tooth and curve down and around. Hi, yum, yum. How's he doing? How's he looking? Yeah, he's a cartoon. He is, he is fake. He's a cartoon. But he's real at Disneyland. And he's, and he's real in mommy's heart. <laughs> Thanks for the love. Thanks for the, the drawing love. I love you. All right, and then at the bottom of his mouth. Okay, so if you see what I'm doing, I'm not super satisfied with his mouth right there. I kind of brought it out a little too far. So I'm gonna just bring it in a little bit. So what you can do is when you're done with your drawing, you can go over the lines that you like and that you want to keep darker and the lighter lines that you're first sketching with will disappear. So up here, this is really light, but I like it. I wanna keep that line. So I'm gonna go back over it. Just a little bit darker. And the same with this too. And you can go through all of your lines. So my nose is a little lighter, my eyes are a little lighter. And you can go through and darken the lines that you want to keep. Okay, at the bottom of his chin, I'm just gonna do a little stretched out U, just to give it a little bit of depth. And now we get to do his tongue. Cartoon tongues are so cute. They're so pillowy, they're awesome. You just do a bubble line there and a bubble line there. Just two little mounds that overlap each other for his tongue. All right, the next thing we're going to do with Goofy is his hat. Before we do that, I'm gonna darken his nose. Darken this, darken some of my lines.
fill them in a little bit. Okay, now let's go do his hat. So to do his hat, you're gonna do two arched lines going from the top of his head. So here's his little widow's peak. And you're gonna start on the top of one arch and the top of other arch, and just do two curved lines. Okay, and you're gonna do a little pillow mushroom on top of these two curved lines. So just do a big mushroom top. His hat looks like a little mushroom. That's your plan? Yeah, but how do I do that? Oh no, that sounds crazy. Okay, so when you do the little mushroom top, now you're gonna do the next layer. So do two more lines. And do a line just kind of through the middle. It makes a band for his hat. And then you're gonna start at this corner. Yeah, in just a little bit. We're gonna start at this corner and go up and around to make one arch and then up and around to make the next. There's his cute hat, his cute slanted hat. Now you can give goofy hair here. You could do little wisps of hair, but since I have chalk, sometimes the hair doesn't work out very well. So I'm gonna skip the little hair part, but if you want to just do like three lines for wispy hair. Okay, now let's do, let's do his iconic ears. Now Goofy has kind of long stretched out teardrop ears. So it's as if like a tear was coming from your cheek and falling off. Um, his ears are big and long and they're gonna go from his, the side of his head, basically all the way down to his mouth, like past his teeth even. You can really make Goofy's ears as big as you want. Have fun with this. Have fun with the ears. You're gonna start at the side of his head and then follow the line down past his cheeks around to his teeth and then stretch out the teardrop at the bottom and then bring it back up and around. So there's his ear. I'm gonna stretch it back, up and around. Okay, there's one ear. And here's his other ear. Just do the same thing on the side. So follow it down and around. Turn drop around and then stretch him back up. Okay. Check him out. Make him big. Yeah, what do you think? Good. Okay. So check out your goof and um, fill in any lines that are a little lighter. <laughs> lines that you want to keep. <laughs> and then once you're done with that and you like the way Goofy looks. You can color him in. You can color him the colors that you want. Now, I drew Goofy with orange chalk because when I think of Goofy, I think of orange. I feel like that's his color. When I think of Donald, I think of blue. Mickey, I think of red. Uh, Goofy to me is orange. So I'm going to just leave him as he is, but there's one last thing that I need to do, and that's fill in his eyes. Once you color in his eyes, your animation comes to life. So I'm just going to quickly color in his eyes. Have fun.
mind drawing him. If you guys draw Goofy, be sure to... Oh, I can't see. I can't see. And there he is, Goofy. And if you guys draw him, make sure to send us a photo. Post it on your social media, tag us in it, and we'll share your drawings on our feed. I want to see your Goofies and let us know who we should draw next. Thanks, guys. Be sure to share it. Tag us in it. Bye. Have fun. Happy drawing.